Somehow, I still sometimes see people referring to the Mortal Kombat announcer as Shao Kahn, regardless of what game it is. I even asked about this on Twitter recently, and quite a few people thought non-Khan announcers were him. So I don't want anyone saying, I've never seen it, so you're clearly making it up, eat a penis. The first MK announcer was, of course, in MK1. Shao Kahn did not exist yet. The general assumption was always that it was Shang Tsung, likely a result of both the next two games and the movie. In more recent years, both Ed Boon and John Tobias have confirmed that to be the case. Incidentally, Ed himself was the voice of Shang here. Fatality. MK2's announcer has the same voice as Shao Kahn and even says, I win. When he beats you, so it's him. This same announcer returns for MK3. Fatality. In MK4, Khan is presumed dead, so it's not him. And according to Herman Sanchez, the voice of the announcer and Quan Chi, it's the sorcerer this time. Sub Zero. Sub Zero. Scorpion. Scorpion. In Deadly Alliance, Khan is confirmed dead, so it's obviously not him. Do not mention Deception's retcon. The intent at the time was that Khan was dead, so it's not him. And this announcer stuck through Deception. Fatality. Armageddon. Fatality. Unreal Championship 2. Coup de Gras. And MK vs DC Universe. Fatality. Because of MK4 and it still being Herman Sanchez, it's easy to imagine Quan Chi was meant to be carrying over for Deadly Alliance where he's one of the final bosses, but that's pure conjecture and likely disproven by Quan Chi's death in Deception's intro. Again, do not talk to me about later retcons. Shaolin Monks brought back Steve Ritchie from MK2 and 3 to reprise Khan and announce once again, since this game is a retelling of MK2, marking Khan's first appearance with both dialogue and announcing duties. All too easy. Fatality. Next comes MK9. The announcer here is Jameson Price, B Han in this game and Ermac in the next. But one trailer where his declaration of FIGHT is used by Shao Kahn and people think it's him, even though he's played by Bob Carter in the game. The tournament will begin! Voices can change between trailer and game, like Steve Bloom as Marcus Phoenix or Christina V as Edelgard von Hressfeld, and that's assuming they ever plan to have Kahn be the announcer in this, and that this wasn't just a little hit of nostalgia. This announcer stuck through MKX and Eleven, the latter of which has a separate Shao Kahn announcer voice provided by Kahn's new actor Aikamadi, so it's very clearly never been him. Fatality. Fatality. And just for completion's sake, MK11 also has announcer voices for Raiden. Fatality. Johnny Cage. Fatality. Kronika. Fatality. And Robocop. Fatality. Wait! Not Shang Tsung? I mean, come on, guys. Flawless. As for Mortal 1 Combat, we don't know the story yet, so it could be a character in the game. But the announcer sounds nothing like Khan Wood, lacking the strong or forceful voice one would expect of him, instead sounding much more laid back. Fatality. Sub Zero wins. I would have had Liu Kang be the announcer personally. So, all told, who are the MK announcers? MK1, Shang Tsung. Finish him. MK2 to 3, Shao Kahn. Finish him. MK4, Quan Chi. Finish him! 3D era, no one. Finish him! Shaolin Monks, Shao Kahn. Finish him! Netherrealm era, nobody. Finish him! So, unless you're discussing MK2, 3, or Shaolin Monks, it's not him. Stop it. If you liked this video, then be sure to thank Tabmok99 for helping out with the Twitter answers and certain specifics surrounding the Midway games. The man is a true hero of the Republic who deserves way more support. Today's recommended video is How Netherrealm Ruined Shao Kahn by It's Official. Because it's true. It's damn true.